Hey guys, Sonia Snowy Y79 here, coming to you with the thoughts about last week and goals for this coming week. Um, I didn't get below 215, I did get to 216, which is a new adult low, uh, so I'm happy with that. And my goal this coming week then is to get below the 215. And water I'm doing good on. So I'm going to keep doing good with my H2O, especially on my days off. Um, exercise is limited because of the syncope. So my goal this week is to walk either um, three hours or three miles, just depending on what measurement I'm using. So far I can't find my pedometer, so I'm doing the time and I've walked two, two hours already, so I'm on track for that. Um, food wise, I, Monday and Tuesday I spent 48 hours with no processed sugars. I'm not cutting out fruit or milk. Um, I don't eat bread and no potatoes, no rice, no pasta. I don't eat those. Um, I have had bites of those items since surgery. I just don't miss them, so I'm not incorporating them back into my world. Um, but no sugar, no candy, no cookie, no ice cream, no things that I have had back in my world. Um, so yeah, I did 48 hours, no sugar, and it went well. Yesterday was Wednesday. Yeah, I'm two days late with this video. So, um, and we had, I swear, every day at work is some, some different kind of day of something to eat. Monday, it was bring in your favorite popcorn day. So I took in Skinny Pop and everybody really liked it. Um, I didn't really try hardly any of the popcorns they brought in. I did, um, I, that was my one fail on the no sugar is I did have one piece of um, gonzo grape popcorn. It tasted like grape bubblicious. Um, it was way too sweet. I was very tempted to spit it out, but I just go ahead and swallow it. Um, so yeah, that was like, my 48 hours was like 99% successful because I did have that one piece of gonzo grape popcorn. I um, can say I will never have that again because yeah, no, it wasn't, wasn't good um, to me anyway. Then Tuesday, it was brownie day, and if you've watched all my videos, you are well aware that brownies are my kryptonite. Um, they're worse than Reese's. I don't make them, because if I make them, I eat them. I have not made them since my surgery. Um, it's probably been closer to a year since I've made brownies, because pre-op, if I would make them, I could literally eat the whole pan in two days. Um, with or without my family's help, it didn't matter. So, thankfully, I held strong though, and while I looked at the different brownies and other snacks that people had brought in, I just went and had a protein bar and it was no big deal. So, um, yeah, so yesterday I did have a uh, crinkle, a chocolate crinkle cookie. I actually had two, they were smaller. And then um, a co-worker had left, I really like coconut and chocolate, so they had left two uh, coconut Reese's in my mailbox. So that was, I did have sugar yesterday, and I still ended up with a 10 to 1 calorie to protein ratio. I logged everything, and I ended up at um, 1,133 calories and 113 grams of protein. So um, I was happy with that. Now today, I'm starting no sugar for 48 hours again, because I know on Saturday, I am planning to have sugar. It is my birthday, and I will celebrate. And at this point in my life, the way I am most accustomed to celebrating is having something sweet. Um, I think I wanna go to Outback for some chocolate thunder from down under. I have not tried that since surgery. And pre-op, it was like, probably my favorite dessert in the whole world. And I have tried to remake that thing at home and you just can't get it right. Or I just couldn't get it right. Um, I'll probably manage like two bites of it and be stuffed, but that's okay. Um, my husband will handle the rest, I'm sure. Um, 
It's better last year, oh my gosh. Last year for my birthday, we went over to Des Moines and went to the Cheesecake Factory um, and had a big meal and then proceeded to bring home four slices of cheesecake because we couldn't decide which one we wanted. And yeah, within a week, the three of us, my husband, my daughter, and I ate four slices of Cheesecake Factory cheesecake, which at least we didn't do it in a day. But yeah, our habits are definitely changing for the healthier. We are, let's see, my plans for Saturday. We have, uh, my daughter has gymnastics, and then we're going down to Kelowna to, um, hubby wants to take me to the cheese shop and to one of the furniture stores down there. And we're shooting back up to the American Girl Fashion Show. My daughter and I are. My hubby will go do some electronic shopping or whatever while we do that. And then afterwards, I want to go ice skating for my birthday. So I'm, you know, it's totally different. And then, like, we'll go eat and probably go to Outback since I want Chocolate Thunder. Um, so, yeah, for my birthday this year, it's totally different than last year. Um, we're doing stuff. We're doing activities. We're not. We're not so focused on going out to eat. Uh, we are going to go out to eat, but it's not the whole whole day celebration. So yeah, last year's was. It was all about. Well, let's go here for lunch and here for breakfast. And it was ridiculous how our world revolved around food, and um, we didn't enjoy other things. And we're learning. We're learning as we go learning as I shrink to enjoy other things so yeah I guess that's it I'm rambling um, so yep I want to get in the three hours or the three miles of walking since that's about all I can do I want to get below 215 pounds um, I have joined well started the back to basic transformation Academy semester three it's my second semester it's a huge support. I love it. Um, if you haven't ever tried one of their Transformation Academies, I highly recommend it. Such a blessing. And I am also participating in the Back to Basics Diet Bet. I do not think I am going to meet my goal. I still have, I think it's five pounds to lose in like 12 days. Um, I'm not sweating it. I'm not, not going to stress about it and because stressing leads me to eating junk. Um, I've been sick. My doctors cut out my exercise. Um, you know, it is what it is. I'm doing what I can do. And now I'm doing the best that I can do. Um, I did have a week or two there where I was just so frustrated. So I took it out on food, which takes it out on me. Um, I'm real good at punishing myself, even when it's things that I can't control so I'm not doing that anymore yeah um, so I guess that's about it things are going well what am I week 29 I think that's crazy best thing I've ever done for myself by far um, well I don't know Mary and my husband might might beat this so um, right up there though in the top three best things I've ever done for myself is having this surgery even with yes even with the complications I have had so um, I would do it again in a heartbeat even if I knew beforehand that I would have these issues I would still make the decision it's so worth it I'm 81 pounds down from my all-time high I um, even with the passing out mess I feel so much better than I used to feel um, I have more energy. I I don't ache. Um, well, okay, I do when I eat too much sugar and my knees ache from I sugar evidently um, increases pain from arthritis because the the couple times that I've overdone it on sugar have been the only times the arthritis in my knees have bothered me since I've lost the weight. Um, so yep. Still chugging along, still enjoying this new life I'm creating for myself, and I hope you guys are all doing well. You're all such great inspiration and encouragement, and I thank you for being part of this community. Thank you for sharing your world and for touching mine. Have a great day, guys. Bye.